right after they got him. And then uh, Obama took some over to uh, Mexico to start it, as it says in this report. 94. German government functions that were privatized or handed out to newly created corporate like bodies charged with performing specific functions, for example, the Gestapo, charged with internal surveillance, and the SS toting cough for band or death squads, charged with administrating the Nazi concentration camps, were still held accountable after the war for the fruits or results of their work. A mere declaration by the employees of the SS and Gestapo that they were following orders from their employer and working with utmost efficiency to reach performance targets, such as killing so and so many prisoners a day in the camps, was regarded as insufficient by the U.S. military tribunal to absolve them of their responsibility before the law That's of their shame, crimes. Bro. The Nuremberg trial judgments show that no government can privatize an essential government function in way that detaches from the activities of an agency the from normative justice, pass. the law or principles of a constitution republic, moving a government function into an entirely law-free corporate economic zone United where States the only has. dictates that apply are those of efficiency, targets and performance and contracts without and reference to the you ultimate the fruits of those the efficient is activities like is prohibited Hitler by law. Up. Murder is murder whether it is done efficiently by privatized government agencies or privatized. not. Torture is torture whether it is done efficiently by privatized government agencies Jeez, or not. Infringements on liberty are infringements United whether they States are done efficiently by corporations or not the, the regulations that these corporations produced to carry country out their mass country. murder and surveillance were deemed illegal regulations are not the same as the law that is the judgment of nuremberg corporate regulations do and not confer authority and legitimacy only the, the constitution and, and the law US confer authority and legitimacy presidential trial. or leader waivers They're and executive orders that gave an air of legitimacy to a criminal system were deemed in illegal Israel, at the, the nuremberg IDF, trials if they were not in alignment with normative crime. justice and the Constitution. So this, then, is the judgment of the humans. Nuremberg trials. No act of privatization on the authority of the government can abolish normative justice and the essential mandate of the Constitution, from which all government bodies derive their legitimacy. Privatized government agencies must, therefore, also act within the terms of the preamble and constitution no matter and corporate contracts cannot abolish this relationship. Corporate it contracts in can only States. regulate the activities of the people working inside the corporation, but not the legal relationship between the corporation and normative justice and the constitution. For the president by use of decrees or the government to create government bodies that are in total opposition to a constitutional republic where all people a right to life, liberty and pursuit of happiness including property is, therefore, illegal and unconstitutional. Officials are always directly accountable back and though their office to the constitution, to the people by virtue of the obligations and legal relationships that flow from the preamble, constitution and bill of rights that subordinate all other activities to these. God, I didn't think she ever heard oh, I forgot the section of the uh, report. It's been a while since I read it. Um, but, you know, I, on, on her behalf, the, the creator of this report and her staff and all that who, who did this, um, it was very smart to, to put all that information in there about the Constitution and why... Uh, the forced vaccines that they tried to do in 2008-2009 uh, were illegal and um, how the companies Baxter and Bayer and the other ones and FDA and etc. Uh, should be held accountable so I understand uh, the extra mile on this so but it's still good information because we're facing the whole thing all over again 95. Federal law and regulations prohibit the use of investigational new drugs, including unproven vaccines, without informed consent of recipients 51. 10 U.S.C. 1107, 2000. 
provides that investigational new drugs or drugs unapproved for their intended uses may not be given to members of the armed forces without their prior consent except in the case of a waiver by the President of the United States. However, presidential decrees are not mandated by the U.S. Preamble Constitution and Bill of Rights with its Democratic Code. Executive orders issued by Adolf Hitler, the de facto president of Nazi Germany, who won democratic US elections in 1933 of German citizens' Obama constitutional rights was not considered adequate justification for violating those rights and the rules of normative justice by the U.S. military tribunal at the Nuremberg trials. Therefore, the various government agencies created by the Federal Act of 1935 also have to be subordinated to TH central overriding purpose and goals of the preamble and constitution, namely life, liberty and pursuit of happiness, irrespective of any corporate contracts, essential government functions, including public health functions and mass vaccination programs, cannot be detached by an act of privatization or corporatization from the preamble constitution and law of the land and from the goals they mandate they cannot never legally and constitutionally be detached from or given a life independent of the preamble and constitution and law because this is the ultimate source of their authority in the first place the public agencies in united states of america cannot be turned into an apparatus for killing americans by means of deliberately or accidentally contaminated and or shoddily manufactured vaccines vaccinations under any law for the enrichment of pharmaceutical companies, the banks that own those companies or by any foreign powers that gain undue influence over the U.S. government. The abolition of the relationship between the preamble and constitution and the activities of the government agencies under the Federal Act of 1935 is a legal fiction. Any judge who attempts to interpret laws in a way that is not alignment with the overwhelming intention of the preamble Constitution and the Bill of Rights, namely, to protect the liberty, life, happiness, including health and property of the people of America, and to hold the government agencies, including the public health agencies, accountable for doing the same, has failed to understand the objective, logical necessity inherent in these documents. As mentioned, there is a precedent for making judges accountable for failing to uphold the objective necessity of normative justice of the preamble and constitution and for allowing a tyrannical government to hollow out the rights of citizens. That precedent is in the Nazi German judges trial conducted by U.S. military tribunals at Nuremberg in 1947 when German judges and lawyers were held to account for their willful, sophistic and perverse interpretation of the German Constitution, which, like the U.S. Constitution, assigned civil rights to individuals and limited the power of the government, thereby allowing the Nazi government to carry out the de facto abolition of all those civic rights and government limits with a veneer of legality. The goals laid out in the preamble are not law, but they still have the absolute and binding character of a law, and that binding character extends to all courts and to all government functions privatized or not. The preamble requires that the constitution and laws and goals of courts and government agencies are always and without exception interpreted in such a way as to contribute to the goals laid down in the preamble, including the continuation of the constitution in perpetuity. So, I... I was going to say something I forgot. It had to do with his, her speech, which was very, very good. Um, excellent. It, reminding us how powerful the Constitution is. And how, how we really... It's time. It's, it's time that we put our foot down. And whether it... I think it's going to have to be both by... Uh, but it's and it's going to have to be millions marching on Washington or down to their town square or coordinating a time where everybody just steps outside just to show them 
we're united. We don't have to go anywhere. Just three o'clock on a particular day, everybody stops and just walks outside as a protest for five or ten minutes just to show that we are united and these ideas that uh, the Constitution, the U.S. Constitution is forever and they will never take it from us and learn our lesson this time that we allowed it to, to go too far and I think we're also going to have to start suing and I think once we start suing Congress and the Senators the ex-presidents individually under the RICO statute it's gonna take notice and they cannot I mean they could push the law through saying that way you know you can't tag us with a RICO violation but they can't put themselves above the law so I was gonna say something else but that's what came out Ninety six eliminating sophistry, which can be used to justify the opposite of the logic. I remember what I was going to say. Notice the parallel she's making with Nazi Germany and what's going on with our government, well, especially in two thousand nine. It's just gotten worse. So she kind of put it in chronological order of how Hitler took control, and he ordered mandatory vaccines he privatized these companies uh, corporations took responsibility for uh, certain aspects of the war you know the torture uh, the experiments on people and um, that sort of thing and that was all privatized by corporations now if you cannot see the parallel and then the vaccine if you if you're not and the vaccines were just before the real shit hit the fan and if you can't see that there's really no hope for any of us that's what i was gonna say 96 eliminating sophistry which can be used to justify the opposite of the logical necessity inherent in the law by playing with words and semantics or taking elements of the law out of their context the u.s constitution also mandated a tripartite government a separation of powers and these